Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. This video today, we're going to be talking about organizing your poses in game. If you're like me and you pose your Sims constantly and you're always searching and scrolling through all the poses, trying to figure out if you have enough for a certain amount of Sims or maybe like a toddler and a child and an adult. And it's just very, very exhausting. Well, my dear friend Drag Sims told me how to do this and it has been life changing. And now I'm going to share it with you. Now, all you're going to need is Sims 4 Studio for this to work. And so what you do is you go into your pose folder or wherever you have your poses within your mods folder and you find the one that you want to edit and you right click on it and say open with Sims 4 Studio. Now, once you do this, Sims 4 Studio will pop up with a pose and you will see everything, the name, the description, and the creator name along with the images. Now, what I do is, let's first say, for example, this one is by Sim Sulani. I wanna keep the number with it because a lot of times people ask me in stream which pose is which, or I will tell them. So this way I will know this is pose number 113. So I'm gonna delete the My Starbucks Sim Sulani and I'm going to rename it whatever I choose. For this one, this has two Sims. So me personally, I'm organizing this by the amount of Sims with the poses. So I'm going to do a two, an underscore, and then the name that I want to create. And then, like I said, I'm gonna keep the number at the end. And then you hit save and it will be saved that way in your game. Now this has nothing to do with changing the package name. So the package name is what is placed inside of your mods folder or inside of your poses folder. You're not changing that. You're actually changing the name of the pose within Sims 4 Studio. So then once you get that all completed, when you open up your um, pose by pack in the game, you will see everything labeled how you chose to do it. What's wonderful about this is that you can organize it however you choose. So you can do it by the number of Sims, you can do it by the number of Sims and a little bit of a description of what it is or who is in the pose. So for example, I have done um, a number two and then I've done like adults and child or something like that. So that way when I'm going through my 1000 poses, I can easily find which one I need. And yes, it's time consuming, but trust me, it is extremely worth it. And now when you're in your game with your poses, you will be able to have it look like this. And it is just so pleasing to my organized brain. So huge shout out to, again, my wonderful friend, Drag Sims, who told me about this. And trust me, you're gonna wanna do this. So I hope this was very helpful and give you a little bit more organization into your pose life. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.